What is up, everybody? My name is Josh Beaumont. If you don't know who I am, let me introduce myself. I am the owner, founder, CEO, master broom pusher, bean counter, whatever you want to call me, at Relentless Motorsports Texas. Yes, I have to have a little bit of fun. Um, I'm in a good mood today. Hopefully, you guys are too. It's almost Friday, and I'm really happy about that. Uh, for my people that know about me and you follow my business page, you know I'm getting ready to take off next week. I got a kidney stone. I've had a kidney stone for a while. I'm in a lot of pain. So I'm just trying to like laugh, joke, and keep my mind off that. So today's video might be a little on edge as far as goofy-wise. Um, just trying to have some fun and make the best of life um, to kind of forget that I'm, I feel like I'm dying. Anyway, on that note, what I want to talk to you guys today about is something that I've been finding more and more prevalent with the newer Toyota ECUs. Yeah, newer Toyota ECUs, and it's not capacitors failing. Not yet. I'm sure these little electrolytic guys here one day will, will crap the bed just like their older counterparts that look like, like this. But, like, there, better view. Like that. But anyway... What I want to talk to you guys today about is hard shift and gear change latency and slamming into gear like on downshifts and whatnot. This issue was brought up to me by the LS430 community, you know, with the guys with the facelift, the 04 and up LS430s. They have that hard shift issue where like it's the one to two downshift. Some people have had it in other gear. A couple people, it's rare, but a couple people said they had it in an upshift. I don't know. I don't own an LS430. I had one for a little while. It's a great car. I kind of re regret getting rid of it. Anyway, um, luckily for you guys, I found the fix for this. I have a really smart friend of mine that is good with software engineering and stuff. And he was able to crack these two guys here and this. And we found and find out what controls the transmission, which, just like the LS430, it's, this is... The TCM, and this is what tells it what gear to go in. These two communicate. Anyway, now that you know that, I went ahead and we upload, dumped the original file, recode it, and luckily it's the same software and same writing um, as the LS430 ECU, so I am going to be offering this now. This is for a 2006 Lexus GS. GS470, which if you don't know what that is, it's an SUV. It's a really nice, really luxurious, super badass SUV. Anyway, the customer stated that it had a hard shift issue, so I reverse engineered the board. It's pretty much taken me all day. I figured it out. I figured out where the issues are. I've tested some other components that are known for failing in the older computers, like voltage regulators and other little things and you know marked them off as i checked them i'm sitting here looking over i'm checking just making sure i check things anyway i have the fix i have found the solution to this and unfortunately i don't have a test rig just yet for this particular vehicle i'm going to build one so i can simulate it like the ls430 and I can actually see on the bench whether it's fixed a problem. But this customer, it's a pretty cool guy, older gentleman. He's going he's gonna to get it back, and he's going to let me know what it does. This ECU's never been worked on by anybody else. It was a virgin when it came in. So, therefore, this ECU is backed by my three-year no BS warranty. Um, and uh, we'll find out. So, like, if, God forbid, it doesn't work, which I'm pretty sure it's going to work... It doesn't work. <laughs> Homeboy's covered. Um, so yeah, as far as that, if you got a if you got a LA, uh, Lexus, I keep forgetting the number codes because I've the first one I've ever worked on Lexus GX four seventy. Wow, I'm having a brain fart. Anyway, if you got a GX four seventy, you got a hard shift issue. I can fix it for you. Also, if you got a Rav four, Toyota Rav four. And you got a hard shift issue. I can fix it. You got an LS430. I'm your man. Anyway, um, just trying to have a little bit of fun today. 
If you follow my Facebook page, I'm going to be taking off next week. Um, i got to rest up. i got to get ready. i got a trip to go on in June. It's going to be my birthday. I'm supposed to be going out of town with my girl. I'm trying to get better. And I also have to go for kidney surgery. I've been back and forth with kidney doctors and all sorts. I have a 14 millimeter. Yes, I'm not exaggerating. It's the size of my thumbnail. I wish I had the x-ray to show you. Kidney stone in my left kidney, and it is absolutely killing me. So if I seemed a little goofy on the pages or even in this video, I'm literally just trying to be goofy to literally keep from screaming because I'm in a lot of pain. But anyway, if you have ECU issues with your newer style Lexuses or if you have issues with your older style Lexuses or Toyotas or Nissans or anything else, I mean, I can work on it all. Here's an antenna relay for a Supra. I mean, it's what I do. I can fix it for you and get you back up on the road the way you want to be. Anyway, this video, I know it wasn't the best. A little bit of pain, trying to keep straight pace and not scream and have, make the best of this situation that I'm in right now because literally fixing these things for you guys takes the pain and knocks the edge off of it because my mind has to focus so much on that that I can't pay attention to my kidney killing me. Um, for everybody that's sending me these, I love you guys. I appreciate it. Without you guys, I mean... Shoot, without you guys, I don't even know what I would do. I know for a fact I wouldn't be able to afford the medical insurance that I need to go get this kidney stone out. So I definitely appreciate you guys. You guys are literally, like, realistically, you guys are saving my life. And uh, I owe you guys. I really do. From one enthusiast to another, you know, let's keep old cars alive. Let's keep cool stuff on the road. And let's keep internal um, combustion engines going. EV vehicles are cool, but they're one-trick ponies. And I'm really not with it. So anyway... Screw your Tesla, save your old Toyota, and let's make things happen. Anyway, later guys, peace out, and if you need to reach me, you can reach me at RelentlessMotorsportsTX.com, you can reach me at Facebook at RelentlessMotorsportsTX, or you can look me up on Instagram, the old trusty Instagram, you know, uh, the, where you can see like a massive photo dump of all my work, which you can see that pretty much on Facebook too. Um, is Relentless Motorsports Texas also as well. So anyway, i got to box this back up. i got to get everything done. I'm going home early today because my kidney is killing me, and I am going to go take a hot shower and go lay down. Anyway, I hope you guys are having a good week. Tomorrow's Friday, and uh, yeah, I hope you guys have a good Friday. I won't be around, um, so keep me in your prayers. I'll keep you in mind, and hopefully we make everything good. Later, guys.